Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this drop down navigation menu to your Blogger website. Now, this is a navigation menu that we had designed from scratch using HTML and CSS in the previous video. So, if you haven't watched that and if you want to know how to create this from scratch, you can watch my previous video. I will leave the link in the description below. And I will also leave the link of the source code so that you can directly copy and paste the code. Right, so this is how the drop down menu looks. Here we have this sub menu over here and we have one more sub menu right here. So this is a two level drop down menu. So let's get started. We're going to add this navigation menu to this uh, blogger website. And uh, for this, I'm using a theme called Contempo. And we have already changed some things over here in this theme. So in one of the previous videos, I changed the default nav bar of this theme to a custom navigation bar. Now this is a simple custom navigation bar that we had designed for our blogger website. And I'm going to start off from where I left off over here in this video. So if you want to know how to remove the default nav bar from this theme, then you can watch that video. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. So once you watched that video and followed along, you are left with this screen right here with this custom navigation bar. Now the only thing we'll do is we'll replace this with this new drop down navigation menu. So let's go over here to our dashboard and we'll go to theme and then click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And first of all, let's remove the current navigation bar that we have over here. So let's scroll down and uh, let's find the markup for the navigation bar. So it is right here inside body. We have this uh, division with the class of my navigation container and in that we have this simple navigation bar. Let's go ahead and uh, delete this. Now let's copy the HTML of this navigation bar into our blogger theme code. So here I have the source code. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's copy this division from here till the end of this division. And we'll paste it over here inside our theme code. Now we don't have any images in our drop down menu. We are using a font awesome icon. So we also need to add the link of the font awesome icons. So let's go over here to the head section. And here I have the link of the Google fonts and also the font awesome icon. So we already have the Google fonts inside this theme. So we don't need to add that. We will add the link of the font awesome icons. So let's copy this. And let's go to the top of our theme code. And inside the head section, we will add the link. Right now we need to remove the CSS of the previous navigation bar. And we have to add the CSS of this current drop down navigation menu. So first of all, let's find the previous CSS. So if you scroll down and go to the end of the CSS, here we have the CSS for custom navigation bar. Now here we have some lines of CSS code where we are hiding the default navigation bar and uh, we are also moving this uh, whole container a little bit to the bottom. So let's keep these lines of CSS code over here and we'll delete everything from here. This is the CSS for our custom navigation bar and uh, we'll delete it till here. Right now here we will add the CSS of our drop down navigation. So let's go to style.css and copy everything from here and paste it over here. Right, I think that's it for uh, this uh, drop down navigation. Let's save it and uh, let's see whether it works. Let's refresh our page and the drop down menu is not being displayed over here. So let's right click and click on inspect. And here we can see that we have this division with the class of my navigation container. So we have the division in place, but it is not being displayed. Now, one of the reasons for that may be the Z index. So we'll just increase the Z index and see whether it works. So I'll just set the Z index to 600. Now we can see that it is on top of all the other elements of our website. Let's scroll down and see whether there is any problems. So we don't find any problems over here and everything is working all right. We have these drop down menus displayed over here. We have the sub menus displayed over here and uh, we don't have any problems. The icons are also displayed correctly. So let's add the Z index to our theme code. So here let's go to the CSS and uh, let's go to 
my navigation container and uh, here we will add z index of 600 and now the last thing you need to do is update the links of your navigation menus so you can go to this uh, html and in place of the hash you can add the link of the page right here so for the about you can add the link of the about us page over here and in the same way you can add the links of android ios or whichever pages you have over here and uh, your navigation menu will work all right so let's save this and uh, test it for the last time and uh, let's refresh this page and now we can see that our navigation menu is displayed on the top of every other element and everything is working all right the hover effects and even the sub menus everything is working all right so that's basically it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day